goat. Which is kind of funny, because I didn't even pay attention to that part of the comment until Rob pointed it out later. And then I just kind of laughed. Pathetic attempt number... I'm, I'm not even sure how many to goad me. Um... Let's see. Then if it's only you and only four other people, well, apparently you learned how to add a couple more, who have anything to say against me, then what do I care? I don't give a fuck if you care or not. Uh, so you think that out of everyone, I offended you and Ron that I'm wrong. I don't care if you think you're wrong. I care that you're being a fucking dick. And then I pointed out, you don't actually know how many people you've pissed off. You only know how many people called you out on your shit. As a matter of fact, I know of one that you've pissed off that decided to just stay out of it. So, uh, your numbers are wrong. Stop assuming shit. Stop assuming that everybody fucking agrees with you. And then I pointed out... You completely destroyed friendships with people that not only trusted you, but cared about you. And that makes you a dick, and that's all that matters to me. And then, this beautiful line... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Sorry. You try to make light of this at the end with a heartfelt comment, which I don't buy. If I didn't mean what I said, you wouldn't have been able to bring me to tears. No one's words on YouTube have ever brought me to fucking tears. And I've been told I'm a bad mother. I've been told I am a horrible pagan. I've My nephew has been insulted for his weight just because he was in the background of one of my videos. And nobody's words brought me to tears but yours. So yeah, that just proves, apparently, I don't give a fuck. And then you put, you never took the time to come to me. Yeah, I did. I commented on your fucking video. That's taking the time to come to you. Just because I didn't do it in a private message so no one else would see that you were being an ass doesn't mean I didn't take the time to come to you. Rather, you came to lash at me personally for my indirect and unpersonal video. Again, I didn't come at you about the fucking video. I came at you about the fucking comment that you put under it. And I didn't come at you to lash at you personally. I came because a friend put up a video. And I found out he was spewing bullshit in under it. And frankly, the first comment that I made, none of my friends saw as an attack but you. Because they know if they toe the line, I will call them on their bullshit. And frankly, they would be grateful. My real friends would be grateful anyway. Let me put, would you respect that? you damn right. If I'm crossing the line, call me on my bullshit. And trust me, if I consider you a friend, I won't attack or insult you. I leave you with a handful of dignity. Oh, we're back to your cosmic greatness. First you can read M Ron's mind, and now somehow you have control of whether or not I have my dignity or not. I don't fucking think so. Deflate the head, please.
then you put when dealing with someone you might not consider mentally stable or having some screws loose I think it would be bigger of a person to see what it is yes that's maturity sorry but if somebody's not mentally stable or has a few screws loose they don't belong on the internet for the simple reason that people have killed themselves over stupid shit on myspace facebook and yes youtube if you're not mentally okay you don't belong here <laughs> if a mentally retarded person was calling you names Tracy it's nice to know how you'd punch them in the mouth the only person acting retarded right now is you Jesse and would I punch you in the mouth mouth if you were standing in front of me would any sane person hold it against me if I did considering the shit you've said to me I don't think so Do you know for sure that Magical Hummingbird can control what she s does, says, or how she processes things? Again, if she can't, she doesn't fucking belong on the internet. And, uh, basically, that's it for the comments. Now, at one point I told you I wasn't going to comment on the video anymore. And yet, you still commented back. So, I went to you privately with a letter, dissecting the comment and addressing each point individually. Not once did I bring up Ron's name. And in the letter that I got back, it was 99.99999% Ron. So, frankly, I think you need to deal with your issues on Ron, okay? Because they have nothing to do with me. My problem is with you. My problem is not because Ron has a problem with you. My problem is because you were being a dick. I called you out on it, and then you attacked me. And then I guess you expected that I shouldn't attack back. No. So, uh, do everybody a favor. Climb down off your high horse and rejoin the fucking human race. That's all I have to say. Other than, I used to say I knew you. And I used to call you my friend. I will never say those words again. Goodbye, circle.